What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33. Where I get messages from the divine, I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that will not benefit this message for the collective. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails. I appreciate you guys. For all the love and the support you show to me in the channel, I appreciate you. And all of the other information about me with the other platforms I am on will be down in the description box below. With the links available, you guys. Alright, let's get into it and see what's up. Alright, so I split the deck. We have disappointment in a friend or lover. Okay? Something to do with March could be significant with this. Of course, right? Divine beings, you know, motherfuckers always letting us down. <laughs> they always try to let us down, man. You feel me? Every time. Every time, divine beings. I don't know why they be trying to do dumb shit. Let's see. What's the messages, spirit? What are the messages? All right. We have reconciliation. Okay. Some of the pineapples could be significant. All right. We have spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and, and understanding. All right. A distant friend is thinking about you. Indecisiveness, allowing life to ramble. And we have climbing the ladder. Okay, one more. Give me one more. All right, so we have new opportunities, possibilities, danger, especially in money matters. And then you got new opportunities and you have, you will receive a gift. So for some of y'all, you got a gift coming or something like that. Okay, so you see how I started off the reading? Something to do with a, uh, a friend or a lover that could have disappointed you. And then we had reconciliation came out. So wherever this person is, they could have got some clarity about a situation. This person could live far from you. Okay, for some of y'all, this person was... They could have allowed a connection to like go down or... It's like they was just allowing something to just do whatever this could be a connection or whatever but now this person want to come towards you okay in a situation whoever this person is they could be concentrating on their money because you know they could have got into a situation where they you know um you know a bad investment and somebody could be trying to get their money but this person definitely wants to come in with some kind of gift though and you do have enemies working against you when it comes to this situation. So for some of y'all, I'm just hearing somebody needs to t stop telling people their business. Somebody needs to stop listening to what other people got to say about who the fuck they fucking, who the fuck they with, who the fuck they decide to be with. Somebody just needs to keep motherfuckers out their business. I mean, period. I mean, shit. Should I close the reading spirit? No? Okay. I mean... <laughs> Damn, somebody just keep listening to motherfuckers. Like, stop listening to these motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck how close they seem to you. Okay? None of that shit matters, yo. Motherfuckers you be knowing for 30 years be jealous of you and don't be wanting you to have shit. Okay? <laughs> like, motherfuckers gotta stop looking at people like that. Oh, I've known this person this long. They would never. Yes, they will. <laughs> like, just stop, yo. Somebody can have a dog. Somebody could have just bought a pineapple like this. Okay? Like somebody just could have bought one. Alright? So let's get into a spirit. Because this is just... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody is having the confidence now to close the cycle because they listen to their intuition. Yeah. About somebody that they had a home with or some kind of relationship with or something like that. Yeah, somebody did have some power over somebody, though. They did when it came to this King of Swords. But now you have this person's attention. Yeah, they want to see you with your t-shirt and your panties on. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Something about some t-shirt and some panties, y'all. What the fuck? That's what I just heard. 
T-shirt and panties. That's what I just heard. T-shirt and panties. <laughs> yeah, somebody done is, is obsessed with your ass. Nah. Devil. <laughs> All right, so we have Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Aquarius, and Leo again. So strong Leo energy. This could have been somebody that was in their ego, okay, or something like that. But this person got some kind of enlightenment. For some of y'all, this person could have went through some kind of, like, transformation. Okay, so what was this uh, spiritual development here that this person received? All right. What is this? Five of Swords. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So for some of y'all, this person is aware of somebody else coming towards you. <laughs> so now this person want to come towards you because this person don't want nobody else to have you. For some of y'all, this person could have realized that you are their person. So they not trying to lose you. And that's just period. This person not trying to lose you. Yep. This person is, is this person's confident they going to get your ass too. Yeah, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Yeah, this person pretty confident that they'll get you. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. This person got some kind of uh, clarity about somebody that was jealous in their energy or that was like causing conflict in a situation. This person could have realized that somebody that they was fucking with is not emotionally right. And they could have realized something about this person and they like, no, I'm straight. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aquarius. Yeah, somebody could have realized something emotionally about this person and they they like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, good. <laughs> That's why I'm hearing somebody say. What's the uh, Queen of Wands? What's the Queen of Wands? Yeah, death card. I'm telling you, somebody is ending it. They emotionally walking away. They're done. Yep, they're done. Somebody is still going to try to come back and offer this person something, but this person still is going to reject. They're going to reject. Somebody is going to reject the sex. They're going to reject the sex. That's what I'm hearing. Because nobody get it wet like you and nobody make it stand up like you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard. Nobody get it wet like you or nobody make it stand up like you. Ah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's the world card? <laughs> What's the world? Let me see. Seven of Cups. The Fool card. Yeah. This person closing the cycle with all these fucking options. Because none of them could do it like you. None of them. None of them. That's what I'm hearing. So this person coming towards you. Because they back the fuck up. Okay. If this person been having like sex with other people. They haven't been satisfied with it. It hasn't been like fulfilling them. But this person know you are their wish fulfillment though. Yeah they know. This person know you are their wish fulfillment. Okay. <laughs> It's funny. High Priestess. The World card. Yep. Whoever this person is, it's like... They are totally like going in a new cycle when it comes to you. You could be very intuitive, spiritual, or something like that. And whoever this person is, it's like... Coming towards you is like starting a whole new life kind of energy. This person is closing the cycle on all these hoes. Yeah, because this person know, ain't no getting away from you, yo. Ain't no getting away from you. It's a wrap. Y'all linked. Ain't no getting away from you. <laughs> What's this four of wands? What's this four of wands? Yep. Queen of cups. Whoever this uh, person is that somebody could live with, have a home with, whatever this person is, somebody could be trying to pay for spell work to keep somebody up under their control. And they have been having um, success with that. 
Somebody have been having success with doing spell work though for a while. Yep, somebody had somebody up under their control for a while though. What's this uh strength card? What's this strength? Seven of Swords. Yep, Knight of Wands. Somebody has realized that somebody what they've been trying to do to gain control over them and they're not able to do that shit no more. Because somebody is hip to what someone was doing. Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius. This person has been hip on what somebody is trying to do. So they like, I'm, I'm good. You're not sneaking away, getting away with shit. Okay, even though this is the upright, this is somebody that usually get away with shit. But somebody is tapped into it though. Or they're tapping into it now. What's the King of Swords? King of Swords. Yep. Whoever this person is, they could be very regretful and sad. And they want you. Okay? You the only one that can get this thing up. Nah. You the only thing. You the only one that can get this thing wet. Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this person like, look, I miss you. Like, come on. Let's just. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what this person said. Let's make up. Yeah. Left you hanging. Yeah. Left you hanging. They did. Yeah. They did. They left you hanging, y'all. This person don't want to leave you hanging no more. This person leaving somebody else hanging, though. Sound like that. Yep, whoever this person is, they could have listened to somebody. You know, when it came... To, like, somebody could have listened to somebody to walk away from you. And now, somebody is looking at this person like... You know, like, real side-eye. Like, somebody could have been advising somebody to walk away from you or trying to, you know, tell them shit about you to get them to look at you sideways. But somebody is going to realize that somebody is just a jealous-ass motherfucker. They, they're they lying. They're not telling the truth. Somebody is going to realize that. Yeah, look at that. That was white with these cards. And somebody going to leave somebody else out in the cold. They going to leave somebody out in the cold. Yep. Yep. Left you hanging came in the reverse. What did I tell you? This person don't want to leave you hanging no more. That's what I said. <laughs> telepathic communication. This person been talking to you telepathically too. Yeah. <laughs> this may shock you a little bit for some of y'all. And whoever this person is, they got legal matters. Okay. This could be somebody that's married. Going through a, a divorce or something like that. Okay, for some of y'all, or this person is divorced. Okay, but wherever this person is, they don't want to do that no more. For some of y'all, you're going to be very shocked when this person come back in. Yeah, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be like, what? For some of y'all, you like, I already know this motherfucker coming. I already know. Like, yeah, you already know. <laughs> yeah. Current energy. Manifest. Yep, you have intimacy. No. Air sign and moving. I'm telling you, whoever this person is, it's like if you had intimacy with this person, they miss that. And this person is saying no to somebody. Either this person is saying no to an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or this Gemini Libra Aquarius is saying no to somebody. And whoever this person is, they moving. They moving on. Okay? Because somebody, it's like, nobody do it like you. That's what I'm hearing. Nobody do it like you, man. So this person, like, no. They're like, no. Nobody could do it like this person. <laughs> Whoa. Yo. So for some of y'all, this could be like somebody that live a distance from you. Okay? For some of you. <laughs> Woo! Some will do a Native American. Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Philippines. Alright, I heard something to do with henna. Alright.
That's crazy. Crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That I'll be good and bad, but I'll be bad to you. So, whoever this person is, it's like y'all could, if you have sex with this person, you have really good sex with this person. But this person, you know, they was doing the most. This person thought that they could get out and find better, but this person's realizing that ain't nothing better than you. <laughs> Colorful nails, they realizing that ain't nothing better than you. Nothing will ever be better than a divine being, ever. I mean, that's always going to be the top of the top. You're never going to find better than that. <laughs> What? So what y'all over there? This person like, man. <laughs> For some of y'all, you like, oh, well, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you before you, you know what I'm saying? I tried to tell you. Natural hair. Somebody could wear their natural hair. Dark skin tone. Sagittarius. Something to do with ponytails could be significant. We got L. Somebody could love gym shoes. We have full lips. Some do it a bank employee. Trainer or trainee. We have same sex lover. Perfume and our cologne. Some do it a beard. We have M. O. L. Something to do with smoke, marijuana. We have nine. Some do it a Virgo. We have Gemini. Short straight hair, Chevy, 70s, best sex or love with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, long eyelashes, real or fake. Some do the Capricorn could be significant. All right, P. We have Q, and some do the W. Also, I'm hearing for some of you guys. Uh, somebody could be reconciling with the same sex. Okay, somebody could have a same sex lover and they could have left somebody on. Either this person left you hanging to go deal with a same sex lover. And for some of y'all, this person is coming back to you from dealing with a same sex lover. Okay, whoever this person is, this same-sex lover, this could have been somebody that somebody was trying to keep on the low. They was trying to keep this person on the low or this situation on the low. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So for some of y'all, this person's coming back to you from a same-sex situation. All right, something to do with a PPO. All right, we got PPO out here. Something to do with 91 or 19. Somebody could be could have been born in October, January, or September. Okay. That's funny. Y'all, so look at this, right? So I know this is a one, but just 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 rock with me for a minute. I'm about to show y'all something. I'm about to show y'all something. Look at this shit. Somebody got limp dick. Okay. Somebody got some limp dick. Okay. Somebody cannot get it up. They can't keep it up or something. Okay. Somebody is having problems with getting it up with somebody because it's, it's something with you. Okay. This person is like. For some of y'all, this person may even feel like you're doing spell work on them or something like that because they are not able to. But it's just, it's not that. It's just that you're divine. So it's, you know, you can't go from divine to regular. It's just not going to match. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this person is, you know, they just need to face the fact that you, you know what I'm saying? You the truth. Shit. The hell? You the truth. Or some shit. But for some of y'all, it's like, you don't even have to do nothing specific to get this person excited. 
it's like it's just you you don't have to have on nothing super sexy even though if you do it just makes it spice it up but it could just be you shit this person lay eyes on you and they just be like damn and they just get excited shit <laughs> okay they just get excited yeah i'm hearing that shit go pow that shit go pow yo it go pow when they see you I don't know why somebody felt like that they was going to get better. Like, are you serious? But, you know, people got to find out, though. You know, you got to let them do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Find out. And then they come back on that shit. You be like, uh-huh, I already know where you was. You know, I'm a high priestess. I already know. <laughs> I already know you was going to come back to mama. You know what I'm saying? Or y'all fellas, you like, I already know she was going to come back to daddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, Y'all silly. Y'all silly. Somebody got that limp shit. <laughs> yeah, whoever this person is that somebody is leaving hanging. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody going on a journey. On their path. Somebody's going on their path. They're not playing. Whoever somebody left behind, this person is is feeling like they want to be your op. This person want to be your op after they find out this shit. Somebody like, what? Somebody going off to their journey and you just going to leave me broke? I need you to help me with this house and shit. <laughs> somebody like, I don't care. You deal with that shit on your own. I'm done. I'm about to go over here. That's what I'm hearing. Or that's what somebody about to do. Shit. Yep. This gonna be shocking. Somebody gonna be shocked as fuck. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> All right, y'all. I would just leave it there. Place the initials with your life and your numbers with your life as you see fit in the situation. But I really hope that these messages helped you or gave you some kind of clarity in the situation. But listen. <laughs> yeah, we got P-I-M-P. -I, I see pimp. This person thought they was a pimp. Or this person could have been a pimp because this person is cutting out a lot of, you know what I'm saying, energies for you. But this person is going from a pimp, a player, to a motherfucking, like, I'm going on my path. That's how this person is. Like, I'm going on my path. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. But with this energy, though, it's mutual. Like, you know what I'm saying? With this energy, whoever this is for, it's a mutual feeling with, with this person. Like, you know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, shit, you could be hooked on each other, shit. Okay? <laughs> like, baby, I feel the same way you feel. And I bring that ass over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, so y'all climbing a ladder. You climbing the ladder, collective. This is awesome news, okay? But you got some ex-mother. You got a lot of people that's mad that somebody has dropped a lot of people for you, yo. Somebody ain't playing about you. They they really separating their energy from all these people. Okay? <laughs> what Megan just say, no matter what they no matter what they do or say, is never you you can never get rid of me. That's so funny, yo. <laughs> oh shit. I ain't Jack or Jill, bitch. I ain't gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, cause you her, her. Her, she, 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 she. Listen, stop playing. <laughs> and for y'all masculines, you already know what's up. You already know what's up. This is crazy, but I really hope these messages helped you. But whoever this person is, yo, you about to get some shocking ass news. Okay? You about to get some shocking news. For some of y'all, I'm hearing you like, I'm good on it, but this person like, I ain't good on you, though. I ain't good on you, though. <laughs> and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. That's what I'm hearing somebody say. I can show you better than I can tell you. 
All right, you guys, I really hope that these messages helped you, gave you some kind of clarity, or just simply made you laugh, okay? <laughs> Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace and love. <laughs> Crazy as hell.